Sagittarius, welcome. It's Friday, so the David's Guide Tarot, it's always Sagittarius and Capricorn Day. Right now, I'm going to do your heart spread. Oh, excuse me, I'm going to have coffee. It's been a hard day. This um, yeah, time frame in October, and it's looking at just who's on your mind, who's in your heart. Pull eight cards and look at yourself and your other, kind of also the astrologers, so I'm always thinking that. But throw out a sign, it's just like for the reading, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus can be relevant here. Um, Sagittarius. Now, full disclosure, I'm Sag Sun, Jupiter, Mercury, and Mars. So, um, you know, I'm a little biased. <laughs> Got a lot of, and Jupiter is my cavalier. <laughs> uh, healing happens, and often it's around Jupiter, the great benefic. So, moving forward now. Here come, I hope, some blessings here. Uh, for all of us, just in general, Saggies, if I can say Saggies watching tarot for years. I've always wanted to say Sagis. I always liked it. All right. Already shuffled a lot for you guys. I've been sitting here for a while getting it together today. Five of Swords. This is a tough energy to have, Sag. Um, I try to get this as a, a beat on where you're at in, in your own energy. Um, baseline, kind of. Uh, not yet connected with anyone else or the, even this person you're thinking of. So usually if you're in the Five of Swords energy, you know, you're coming out of a really a combative situation or a series of combative situations where you're having an attitude, mental attitude, where you're telling people, I'm not taking any shit from men or I'm not taking any shit from women. And, you know, um, I kind of get the feeling too a little bit with this Sag. It's uh, it's pretty defensive and it's also like a PTSD and it's also like a wound. It's like um, this, I don't know if you want to look at it that way. But so bringing this into any relationship Sag, um, you're going to be triggery as hell, which is really not normal for Sag. And you know, we don't really do triggery. You know, we're not Virgos, okay? Um, and is this, I mean, you, it, this is like a horse trying to run through the field, which is Sag energy, pure Sag energy, but it keeps stepping into potholes and breaking its legs, and it's just not good, you know? Um, so obviously the answer then is to realize uh, we have overall energy with the Knight of Swords. That's certainly speaking to you somehow. Um, you may uh, move yourself into this energy um, like as a pattern, it's kind of like it'd be something in your natal chart then. Venus challenged by uh, Saturn, uh, possibly with Pluto thrown in there with Venus. Uh, could bring this energy of contention with the opposite sex uh, in terms of your love, uh, self-sabotage, uh, defensiveness, triggeriness, this kind of stuff. Gotta tell you, Sag. Your person, four swords. So what do you call it? A call in. Uh, you call in someone who's wounded. You know, um, you'd see you two commiserating. If you look in this card, look at the man in the back. He's really on his knees, just sobbing, sobbing there. So you're coming from this energy. Now, what's the five of swords? It's uh, one sword away from the four swords. This could go two ways. This could be your very person that you're with, that you've been with. It could be a long-term thing. And it shows some kind of connection. The connection can also be in a new relationship or if it's an established relationship, that there was a battle and you have left uh, in your mind triumphant and they are left with an almost deadly wound that they have to attend to. And heal requires real attention. It means it's really serious um, for them. And, you know, comes to mind, you can't win a relationship because the Five of Swords here, this is clearly winning a relationship, and you won. I say you can't win a relationship because, you know, it makes sense, right? It's not what it's about. Um, but for you to have done this, um, it can be a breaking free energy, too. I was talking today in Sag. Uh, on uh, Facebook and a little thing I wrote about Sagittarius energy um, and 
it, it doesn't want trouble really uh, when when it gets to this point something takes a lot to get us out of this point typically you know and so but once we get to that point you know we're really horses and you know we want to run away but if we're confined we can start kicking anybody that actually knows horses they can kill you they're very enormous powerful they can drive away you know a wolf pack or a mountain lion horses so one swift kick of those hooves and it's toast time. Look at this guy, seven of wands. Now this is how you're reacting towards them. Who the heck are you thinking of, guys? Sag, because this is all about who's in your heart right now, who's most that you're thinking of. I mean, you would know, but you're not very open to them. Now seven of wands is the righteous defense of the castle. That's, that card for me is very strong like that. And this is the position of how are you reacting to your person? You're defending your castle. You're standing there. They're one of those people on the outside. And you're like, okay, you can bring it, but I'm in the doorway and you have to take me one at a time and I'm ready. Let's do this. And, you know, typically with this energy, you are right. So I feel like you had to uh, win this fight and set yourself free, Sagittarius. And the way you're reacting to them now is like uh, these are actions, uh, restraining orders, uh, divorce papers, uh, change of address forms, uh, moving, uh, planning, and uh, taking action. Uh -huh. And they're just having a disinterest. Look, they've got the four swords and the four cups. They're down for the count, guys. So, you know, I don't know if you even need to defend yourself against them. Sag, the only way I could think that you need to defend yourself, and I, I, I understand this, um, you know, uh, you, you may yet love them, and you care about them, and you see that they're in this terrible place, but you just can't fucking deal with it, man, anymore, like you've been dealing with it, and you've been dealing with it. Sag is a lot like Libra, this is how we're like Libra's big time, and then suck it up, and suck it up, and we don't do the right thing, and talk, because we don't want the problems, we don't want the hassles like Libra. They don't want to, you know, hurt anyone's feelings. It's such a strong, um, and then boom, the horse starts kicking the stall. And sometimes the other person's like, well, why? You know, because it seemed like you were okay because you've been stuffing it and stuffing it and stuffing it, you know. But, you know, they're just down for the count here, guys. And they're probably telling you, uh, go, Sag, I don't care. I don't care. And I just want to heal, and I just want you over. I've never had, like, such a negative heart spread. I'm sorry this is who you're thinking of. Um, it's good to go into this. It's a very positive thing. Um, and understand it, get closure, and then move on. Free yourself from this. Right here, bring in balance. Advice from spirit. This is for you in relationship to this other person. And in this case, you know, I don't really see a, a relationship here. So the whole reading shifts now like to advice for you, Sagittarius, because all of these always teach us. And this was an existing relationship, I believe, okay, um, that you probably were in for a long time and very unhappy in. And this is totally getting your, this is like get your shit together, take care of your business, very personal. You're doing this, two of pentacles, not... Prayer is not, there's no major kind yet in this at all. This is all your personal energy here. So you got to take care of business. That's how it go, rolls sometimes. Um, that's pretty clear. The two of Pentacles coming under the Seven of Wands. Back these fuckers off from your castle. Lock it back up. Go inside and take care of things, whatever needs to be taken care of. Do your work, cook, take care of yourself. Um, balance things out takes energy the knight of pentacles knight of pentacles page of pentacles i mean it's very interesting meeting your two of pentacles it's like i see this because this is advice from spirit you're the two of pentacles that's your advice towards this person they're the page of pentacles um that's their advice towards you i see this more energetically i don't really see you guys interacting a lot but there's just something about the very energy, like somehow they interact with you enough or through third parties. They see that you're doing all right. You're getting yourself together pretty quick. This is typical sad stuff. You know, we bounce back. Hard to keep good sads down. 
and you know they kind of just get that vibe off of you what you're doing and you know they're they want to they're not this is a man here to a pinnacles full full grown man and uh, he is dressed like a jester but he's full grown man okay and <laughs> this one the page pinnacles is a boy here so um they're they're immature too and i think that might have been part of the problem we had to leave there's a real immaturity to them um but it's it does inspire them in some way to this is sort of like they're just lost. They're falling down a whole muddy hole. And finally now with this page of pinnacles, and I think somehow really related to you leaving, having the energy to leave, the way you handled it. Maybe you weren't a dick, like, hey, fuck you or anything. You were like, look, I'm sorry. You tried, you know, to do the best you can. And they recognize that, you know. Um, and that in itself helps them get a grip uh, on this page of pinnacles energy. Um, on getting their life together and look at the advice from spirit. This is a transformational relationship You know this soulmate stuff people I guess just don't get it But it's not like one there's bunches and so, uh, sometimes I call them flat-out soulmate hit jobs That could be a soulmate hit job um, But you guys probably got strong Pluto energy in your sinistry. I love to do sinistry hit me up need the business I'm doing a special for Sinistry where if you can give me three dates and times from ex-lovers, uh, we can look for patterns. And I think it really helps uh, if you're going to get a Sinistry reading. That's for people to already understand their natal chart, basically. Because this is some heavy shit going on here. So even if you're not together, I mean, this was a significant relationship. The very process of coming apart here is like finishing a transformation. Uh, for both of you guys, so I see them feeding off your energy. So you're both doing a good job. They're having a harder time than you, Sag, um, for now. Um, but you're both in this energy now, full-on transformation here um, as you break this relationship up. What is the outcome? Queen of Cups, beautiful. And the Queen of Cups here is looking at the Four of Cups, the energy of not caring. Um, I'm going to read that as both of you. Um, you go from being defensive in the Seven of Wands to softening a great deal and bringing in this uh, Queen of Cups energy, the emotionally available, so wonderful energy to end up with. I think this is post-transformation. This has got to be something going on around a Pluto transit that's affecting you personally, maybe both of you personally, affecting your sinistry or uh, progress composite, irregular composite, look at all of that, it's going to be there. And so, important to understand that's uh, what this is all about, the deepest level. And you both end up uh, learning a lot emotionally, and your person regains their strength, becoming a queen, um, and you go back into that castle. It's not uh, sex, male or female, but your person becomes a strong uh, king and queen energy, and so you you do too, uh, out of this whole transformational process. So, I mean, it's really amazing because what that says to me, neither one of you will end this being bitter, you know, and negative and going around, yeah, men are all bad, women are all bad, or my ex this and my ex that. It'd be kind of a, a real strong emotional connection, a genuine heartfelt from understanding this is whole soulmate connection here and nothing happens uh, without a reason um, in how you're both playing this part in each other's lives of Plutonic transformation, guys. So thank you. Let well, me you know what you think about that. Do appreciate the likes, the thumbs up, the shares, tell a friend to tell a friend stuff. And please do subscribe. Help, help me. Appreciate it.